Hi, this is attorney Arda Beşkardeş from New York City. Today is January 25th, 2017. And I got a quick note about the H-1B visas. The H-1B visa is the you know temporary worker in the specialty occupation. Uh, please watch my longer video, which is linked here, uh, about the H-1 visas. Uh, this is gonna be a short note about the filing period for the H-1B visas. Uh, as I told you in my longer video, there's a cap for H-1B visas that the U.S. government can issue every year. For every fiscal year, the government can give 65,000 H-1 visas. Uh, these are brand spanking new H-1 visas. It doesn't include extensions, change of employment, yada, yada, yada. 65,000 new visas, plus another 20,000 additional for individuals who obtained a graduate degree in the United States. So if you have a master's degree or higher from a U.S. institution, you may be eligible for this additional cap. So the total number is 85,000. And the total number becomes effective on the beginning of the U.S. fiscal year, which is going to be this year, October 1st, 2017. To benefit from this cap, uh, you need to file your application six months in advance on the first business day uh, from October 1st, 2017. This year, because April 1st falls on a Saturday, the first business day that you can apply the application is going to be April 3rd, the Monday. From that point on, uh, assuming that it's going to be like last year, there are going to be tons of applications, more than 85,000 applications. Immigration, to give everybody the same chance, uh, they will wait five days, which is going to be from the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, till the 7th of April. All the applications they received during those periods, from the 3rd to the 7th, are going to have an equal chance. From that, they will conduct a lottery. First, they'll put the people with master's degrees or higher on a pile. From that pile, they'll pick 20,000 people. And after that, they'll put the rest of the master's and higher degree people with everybody else. And from that pile, they'll pick another 65,000 people. So that's how the lottery works. And assuming that the demand is gonna be just like the last couple of years, that's precisely what's gonna happen this year. If the cap is not reached by the 7th, then the USCIS will continue receiving applications until they say we received enough. And on that date, the last date, they'll do a lottery. So whether your application is received on the 3rd or the 7th, they will have an equal chance. But to guarantee that it's going to be received on the 3rd or the 7th, you must start preparing your application at least three weeks in advance. An H-1 application at a minimum takes about 10 days to put together because there is an approval period from the Department of Labor which will take a week. And if your employer has never filed an H-1 application before, that period may be two to three weeks. So unless you start the process three weeks before April 3rd, you will not be able to make the cap. You will not be able to play your lottery. Uh, with that in mind, if, if you're thinking about an H-1 with your employer, I suggest that you accelerate those talks, talk to your HR, talk to your employer, decide whether or not you're going to go through this route. And if you're going to go through this route, talk to your employer's attorney or their HR person or an outside attorney and start the process as soon as you can. And good luck with the lottery if you decide to file for an H-1B. Thanks for listening to me and have a great day. Thanks.